I walk through Dudley Park every day and I just see some of the trash and the things that people are throwing into the river. Mary and Corey, an Athens resident who, when joined by others, creates a community driven to support the environment by picking up trash, planting native species, and performing water sampling tests. Water pollution has become a growing concern of people across the country. And with the 2022 report from the Environmental Integrity Project finding that more than 700,000 miles of all rivers across the United States have become impaired by pollution. The Environmental Integrity Project, or EIP, is a nonprofit organization that advocates for effective enforcement of environmental laws. The EIP classifies a river as being impaired when it becomes too polluted to meet the standards for swimming and recreation, aquatic life and fishing, or as a source of drinking water. Of the roughly 1.5 million miles of rivers that were assessed, over half were deemed impaired by pollution, which is about 14.7% of all rivers across the U.S. People are starting to realize that water pollution not only impacts the environment, but themselves personally and their community around them. From habitat destruction, to the spreading of diseases, to the contamination of food and water resources, many different problems flow from water pollution. One of the main sources of the pollution comes from agricultural runoff that carries fertilizers, pesticides, and animal waste into waterways when it rains. Another source of pollution is used water in the form of sewage wastewater, which typically flows back into the environment after being used. If not treated properly at a wastewater treatment facility, then toxic pollutants or pathogens will enter the environment. According to the Rivers Alive 2022 annual report for their cleanups across the state of Georgia, of the 400,000 pounds of trash collected, over half was made of plastic, with nearly 80% of the trash collected being single use. While it may seem like a daunting task to start fighting water pollution, there are multiple different ways in which you can help, such as setting up a trash collector, like the one behind me, or picking up trash and litter when walking down a trail or waterway in your community. When I saw this opportunity to volunteer, I was like, oh, this is a way to give back to the community, make this place, the, the space that I use every day, better and cleaner, and also help the environment. So it's nice to give back to a place that you are involved with every day. <laughs> Another way you can help is by joining a local community held event, such as Rivers Alive, a community waterway cleanup hosted by the Georgia Environmental Protection Division and the Keep Georgia Beautiful Foundation, along with multiple other local municipalities across the state. So Rivers Alive is a statewide initiative to remove litter from our community and help beautify our streams and creeks and rivers. With about 200 volunteers registering for this year's Rivers Alive cleanup event, organizers hope to continue the success of previous years. For Grady News Source, I'm Nick Lab.